Just the one more I don't know I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows You are Okay, we're ready. It's dork time. <laughs> if, if it's not, it should be. What we need is more rules. Yeah. <laughs> and then we then we could hire somebody to enforce them and collect money from our fans. That's true. That's true. It would have Are been. you out of your mind, lady? Where are we? <laughs> we are at the dork table. Oh, and and I have the camera hey. on just so oh, you can yeah, see my new jammers. Ah oh, yes. We're okay, going so there you go. Live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Live. Wow. I, I don't know whether to call a lawyer or to, to get eye drops. <laughs> Neither one's going to help you none. Yeah, That's I'm the minion. Yes, you, that right? is that is the minion. Yes, I am a minion. Yes. I'm a minion dork. Live, live on the dork table. <laughs> Ramsey has got her Minion, this outdid the Eeyore. <laughs> wow. It's, I know. It's called Anything to Stay Warm. Yes. Because I think the suit even makes you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, it does. And I, went, I wore it for some dinner. little ones the, uh, last weekend and... They just thought it was so cool. A little two-year-old, she was looking at me, and she kept looking at the eyeball, and yeah, she yeah. she kept well, going. See, that, that's the frightening thing is I'm so um, glued into the the very thing I despise that I recognize the suit Yeah. from the, the movie. So, you know, as much as away from the thing I want to be as I want to think I am, I still recognize the eye. <laughs> <laughs> You're the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> That's naughty. I, that as in N A U G H T Y. Hey, wait a minute. Now, I'm going to tell everybody I've discovered who the Illuminati truly is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mary, and I got video to prove it. <laughs> oh God! And my dog is over here trying to get all Shit, up in my computer. This- Mm. If I put that on squirt tube, I'll bet it would go venereal inside of 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> it probably would. <laughs> S- squirt tube. <laughs> okay, so we're at the dork table. Let's yes. Do the tradition. Yes, we're at the dork table here on reallibertymedia.com channel 3. Also on the rlmradio.xyz site, RLM Spreaker channel, and lots of other rlm num 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 places. And yay, things are still working. You know, it must be cold enough that the internet is not going, mm, no, I'm not going to let you run that one today. So oh. I'm not going to jinx it either. Uh-huh. Um, thank you, Barman, for tweeting us out over there on Twitter. Truly do appreciate it. Yes, it is dorkular Twitter. time. And I do have my dork suit on. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, she does. <laughs> It's it, it's oh so soft and very warm, so yeah. She, see what the truth of the story is that Mary found a job getting dressed and staying dressed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it pays a lot better than any other option. <laughs> yeah, shivering shivering strippers with point with pointy nipples in the winter. Ooh, oh, when I saw a meme earlier today, um, what? from um. What's her name? Ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, <her. laughs> oh, yeah, her. Yeah. Um, oh, the old granny lady her. with the cigarette. Maxine, yeah, a Maxine oh. meme. And she said, it's so cold outside, my boobs are chattering. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the concrete. <laughs> That's cold. And then Isn't right underneath that... What? Isn't that how welding was discovered? <laughs> I think it is. Um, right after that or... one was one of some guy getting ready to unlock his car, and he's all bundled up, and his butt fell off. And, and the lady across <laughs> the street says, wow, I thought that was just a saying. <laughs> Froze my ass off. <laughs> what is he? What are you reading, Larson? <laughs> yeah, along Except, those lines, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, 
Herman, you're going, you're digging deep into the dork bag there, Miss Mary. Yeah, well, you know, it is the dork table, so we got to be door killer. Okay, over yeah. on Mines, I did say hey over on Mines, but I don't know if anybody's paying attention. Mines has been kind of slow uh, today, or at ooh. least mine has been kind of slow today. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and, and another thing, let me mention this, it's the holidays. Oh, no, really? Yeah, yeah. well. Some people, some people are up to their eyeballs in relatives. Oh, uh, yeah. Just saying. It could happen. Yes, it could. Yeah. Ooh, being up to being up to my eyeball and relatives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in your case, singular. Yeah. I forgot about. It. Wow. I know. The metamorphosis of Miss Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here on the F one side, I see Grimmy is over here. F-1 Thank you, Grimmy, side. for sharing hey, us over Grim. here. You the man. Grim. Grimmy's the Uh-oh. man. Uh oh, is is that good or bad? Because I don't like Thorita. That's good because he's 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 the man, as in M A Y N, and you know, and he's the R L M God, as in G A W D. So you know, he deserves an extra letter from I'm the just, alphabet. I'm just giving Grim a giggle. I know Come you up. are. I also saw Katie Troxel was over here as well as Java Doctor hey, Katie Troxel. and Bob Renner. And they were sharing Bob things Renner? right hey, and Bob. left. Oh, I like this too. Java shared this earlier today. I hate to break it to you, but the United States Java. is a corporate dictatorship, not mm. a democracy or a constitutional right. republic. And the left versus yeah. right paradigm isn't going to yeah. do anything about it. No. Yeah. No. Okay. What about it? That's the way it was designed to be. Exactly. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, if you really want to give us static, come on over to our LM oh. chat because that's where everybody's at. Except for Moosey, well, she's probably still got a life. <laughs> Real Liberty Media minus Miss Moose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right up hey. top. Barman is there. Hey, Barman. You know, the. He's the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. He really is. And the birthday boy's in it, too. The birthday boy? Who's the birthday boy? Mm-hmm. Keep oh, reading. Keep reading. Okay. Cowboy Tech is here, and Cowboy birthday Tech boy. offered to give me hugs because it's so freaking cold. But yeah. Thank see, you, Cowboy you Tech. See, a cybernetic hug is wonderful, too. Thank you ever so much. I also see Grimmy's here. Grimmy! Sorry Grimmy. I didn't stay up to listen to the balls to the wall last night, but I was tum pluckered. I really was. I was tired, Guilty girl. Guilty as charged. Yeah, that's the two of us. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. We hold him captive here every fucking Saturday, and we don't even do his show live. Yeah, and you know what? I hope he I, mind. <laughs> I will get to because I saw that he shared the podcast, so I will get to listen to it later. So, oh yeah, booyah! I always, I always get... It's awesome that we have podcasts. Yes, I was trying to interject a bit of comedy into our introduction, Miss Mary. Well, you just do that because, yeah, obviously comedy is hey it's a comic relief show <laughs> with people that aren't oh. paid to be comedians but the lovely kate hey. is here and i'll kate. bet things are a lot warmer where kate's at in florida and jimmy buffett's right in your neck of the woods isn't he kate i think uh, he is yeah dude i don't know i d- see i mm. just i'm real good at saying i don't know in any case, Asmo's here. Hey, Asmo! Asmo! As- yeah, the Asmodius Asmo. The lovely Beth Z is here, as well as your better half, the lovely Circaline. Hi, Circles! <laughs> I also see huh. Chloe! Hi, she- Chloe! Yeah, she's just a Chloe. Yoo-hoo. Hey, Bobo, let's go get us a Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> But Yogi, Mr. Ranger isn't going to like this. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder hey. who Mr. Ranger is. <laughs> hey, Chloe. The Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dakota. Hey, hey. Da- da. <laughs> I'm here. You're very playful today. Well, good. Okay. Hey, Miss Mary, how are you? 
Yes. Hey, I be done. See. Yeah. I beat you too, but ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Figure that out. <laughs> I know you did. Java Doctor Two is here. Hey, Java, Java as well as yeah. J Dread Hansel's in the house. Hansel. Oh, son of a bitch. How the fuck are you? <laughs> I also see JJ's. No, 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 JJ's. Oh, my yes. Mr. Bubba is Wanna feeling very taco. lovey. Hi, Wanna Taco. Bubba's laying his head on my yeah. lap and being very lovey today. I don't know why. Wow, we got some, we got a little crowd going on here. Yes, we do. I also see, yeah, Juana Taco and yeah. Meister Bra. Hey, hey Woody. dude, it's Woody. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I also see P. Bunyan is here. Timber! <laughs> the lovely rain is also in the house. Oh, you don't want rain in the house. That's why you have a roof. Make sure your roof ain't leaking. Uh, RLM Fluke, the Vanna White of the RLM channel. Oh, don't go there. Don't, don't, don't go there. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Perhaps I could borrow your Banana. closet so I could speak Banana. to the group for a few Banana. minutes. Banana. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw a video yesterday. I know this just shows how freaking re re I can be sometimes. I, <laughs> I watched a video yesterday showing guys how to make it look like they got a bigger package and sew a little pocket in your underwear so you can put a banana in there. And I thought, oh my God, this world has really gone to hell in a handbasket. Bubba, you need to get out of there. <laughs> Wow. My dog is well, underneath the desk, and he's going to pull know. wires. I, I heard him whining last night. Or I did hear some of your show yeah. when the dog was crying. <laughs> yeah, that was Snuffles, because the cat was on my lap, and it's yeah. like, hey. <laughs> As a fellow cat, you know, holder, yes. I understand your, yeah, I understand the cat drama. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cats are vicious. Yeah, well, vicious, and she, I'm yeah. A queen. She was, yeah. And yeah. Then they make it look the dog <laughs> yeah well you know she's laying on my lap and looking at snuffles like yeah mm -hmm. what you gonna do about it and snuffles <laughs> is just right beside the chair going rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're doing a rerun <laughs> and now we're getting the live re the dork table reenactment of the <laughs> rocket chair program <laughs> and, wow well you know it is a dork table for a reason uh let's I'm see stone here <laughs> yeah i know i'm like this on natural isn't that scary i always <laughs> wow <laughs> okay hello <laughs> rob works is in the house rob. hey rob <laughs> hey rob oh, wow. save us rob fire up that bubbler <laughs> Okay, wait. I got it. I got to do this too. Grimner is telling Hans to quit <laughs> posting links and to open the link that Grim posted <laughs> to Hans. <laughs> it's like the Three Stooges, only better. <laughs> nya, 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 nya. <laughs> yeah, wait. Fingers to come poke it out of the computer. <laughs> Slap me in the face. Yeah. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Okay, that okay. was a dork in hell. <laughs> where were we? Uh, Rob, where? Trust, ah, trust no one. Ooh, that was kind of creepy sounding, wasn't it? <laughs> I also see I Cakes is in the house. Cakes, Cakes, cakes. we got Cakes. Woo-woo. Hi, Cakes. Hope you're not freezing your shiver me timbers off. I also see... <laughs> 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 Hi, <Wow>. Dima. <laughs> hey, Dima. That's, wow. <laughs> Hi, Dima. <laughs> Hoi. Hi, Dima. Hi, Flash Nasty. <laughs> and see, your name Hello, is Mr. Flash Nasty, and I'm oh, the one that's making yeah. the double entendre shit. Wow, you're mm. just killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, proceed. Hi, Frumpy. Frumpy. I'm feeling Frumpy. I'm in my jammers. Does that count? <laughs> I also see Kozu is in the house. Hey, Kozu. No Kozu for the Kozu. Yeah, I don't need a Kozu. I don't need any assistance. <laughs> don't egg me on. <laughs> Hold my beer. I'll show you how this is done. Mmm, <laughs> Bot is in the house. 
as well as moi 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 moi. Hi, Nelson Dubois. And Puxified. Hey, yeah, and Pompa Pon Sauce is in the house. As well as Slim Jim Flim and the cuddly one Teddy is here. As well as Dun 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 Phantom. So, yay! Hey, and still under 20 minutes. Booyah! And I even poked my eye. <laughs> I know. I, I actually saw that. <laughs> Yes, right here live on the dork table. Mary poked her third eye on camera. <laughs> Who saw that coming? Yeah, who figured you were the smartest one out of the whole group? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, doink, doink. you've evolved and grown a third eye. It's you better want... than I'm doing. <laughs> uh, now, now I have something to really envy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Be the first kid on your block with a third eye. <laughs> you know what's really wild? I mean, you think this is bad, but yeah, earlier no, today, no, before before the no. temperature really started dropping and the wind came up, I let the dogs out this morning, and um, I decided to go out and do my grounding with them because I haven't actually gone out and done the barefoot thing for a while because it's freaking cold. And oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I went out and did Oops. my grounding with the doggies, so... Picture this, if you will. <laughs> a grown woman in, well, okay, I'm not real tall, but um, in a minion suit, wandering around barefoot in her yard in the middle of freaking winter with two dogs jumping around wanting her to throw the ball. Ball, ball, you've got the ball. Throw the ball, throw the ball. So, yeah, um, I'm mm. sure anybody that, and I know while I was out, you know, wandering in the yard, I looked up and there goes a semi right by on the highway. And I thought, I hope he didn't look over. If he did, he's going to wreck. <laughs> well, or you're just being a little egotistical. Yeah, Who is to say? That's true. I need to quit. That, yes. Yeah. You know, because now, see, society's been split up into groups. You may not have noticed this. But really? over the last forty years, yeah, if you're a if you're a club footed lesbian with a lisp, there's a fucking support group out there to see you through your tortured life. Ah, yeah. So, well, yeah, for like forty years, they've been pounding all these differences in us. This, you know, this guy likes to wear um, nylons under his, you know, suit. <laughs> <laughs> when he goes to work, so he, there's a special group for him now. You know all these things that people do that are bizarre or maybe not very popular. <laughs> what or do you call it? they just plain do not know the benefits thereof. Because my ex worked in the oil field, <laughs> and you know he'd have to go out and work in this kind of weather, and he actually wore pantyhose underneath his thermal <laughs> underwear, and yeah, because it yeah, helped block the wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, if well, you're working out in that shit, it it does block the wind. All right, and still here in another in another way to look at it, it's just uh, a piece of clothing any damn way. Yeah. So, oh, but we've been trained through our societies to interpret shit and be led to to go where it's supposed to take us. But a lot of people don't really understand that. They think things happen on accident and. Oh, no, look at this disaster and this problem. And these things were manufactured by bankers to happen the way they happen. Oh, yeah. And disguised to the public. They look up or read or hear about it. And they don't really have the ability, to, it seems, to understand that these things are planned and taken. Um, they're done on purpose. Yeah, they're quinky. It's not a quinky dink, peeps. It's well, not. You know, a lot of well, a lot of times people, you know, especially when you have several of them that that they start going, oh, something ain't right here. Oh, it's just a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you deal with the public every day, the American public from all over the country, and you see them on a daily basis. Uh huh. I I think to me that gives you an insight that most folks don't have because they don't travel anywhere anymore. I don't travel anywhere anymore. I'm done traveling. For the most part, I don't think I don't have the interest to do it anymore. But if I was in a position where people from all over the world could find me like you are, 
that would be a good point to have. You get a good reference of how things really are. Yeah, well, you know, it is kind of funny when I get to chit-chatting with people, especially, you know, ones that are broke down and they're a little bit on the stress side. So you want to chat with them and calm them down a little bit and let them know, hey, we'll get you taken care of. It may be expensive, but we're going to try and do, mm. you know, get you taken yeah, care of them yeah. back on the road, whatever, whatever. And you'd be yeah. surprised how many people, once they kind of get relaxed, there's a there's a lot of people out there that see what's going on, and there's an awful lot of uh, going on. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, what I mean is that you're you're in a uh, in the center of the country, pretty much, mm-hmm. and and in, a, in the auto business, and and in that business, you have people bring you broken down problems, and they're traveling through. Mm-hmm. So you get more input than everybody else does with links on the internet. Because you get the hands-on, t- you can see the face you're, you're talking to. Yeah. It's a lot start, I'm telling you. And they're trying to do away with it completely. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. want you texting each other in broken language that doesn't have anything to do with anything. Yeah, and they want you being concerned about, you know, all of this other stuff. You know, look at this, look at this, look at this. And then it really is, I think... So mm. many people are just kind of, you know, they're almost in zombie mode, but it's not because they're just, hey, I will do what you say, yes, Martha. <laughs> you know, it's not that. <laughs> not it's that bad, just yeah. they're so inundated with all this stuff, and they see it. They recognize it for starting to recognize it for what it is, but they don't have a direction. You know, they don't well, know where yeah. to go in order to... And That's because there's nowhere to go. It's just a change of your own mindset and controlling where your own personal fucking money goes. And it's not yours anyway. So eh, don't let that rule you. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of Read people, the they just minutes. seem to think that somebody's got to do something. Somebody. And that's that's where I absolutely love the one that I saw years ago that says, mm. whenever you say somebody ought to do something, you need to remember <laughs> you somebody. are somebody. You know, so if you and if you're going to do something to fix this, the only way you're going to fix the world (gasps) is to fix your personal in your little area world. Fix what you can control and that will radiate out. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, Grim just said you probably won't, but you're you can always count on being invited to the Freakers Ball. And uh, well, it's not like the times time conflicts with anything specific. It's just. uh if I plan to be awake for it, I think I, I could accomplish it. So whatever day that is. Oh, um, well, I'll go, yeah. he was replying to Jay Dredd, who's as long as I never get my picture on the oh, cover of the Rolling Stone. Me. So, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I might ego because um, I thought he was talking about the conflicting time zones because I like his show. It's just it, five o'clock in the morning is early here. Yes. <laughs> yes, or it late, is. Depending on what. Yeah, but I, me and Cirque are flexible on hours. Fun, it's funny how we live. Well, you know, that's the benefit of uh, podcasts is that yeah. you can listen to it in your time frame. Yeah, so. but this one, I, I think I want to be, a, I want it, the last one he does, unless he already did it for the year. This is 30th yeah. today. Yeah, ah, he did it last I, night. Damn, and I missed it today. No. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, but I would have liked to have been there, but I didn't think ahead. Well, I see just by going by the the uh, hashtags yes, on there the that um, Vinny was mm. probably playing along for a while. So. Oh, yes. Vincent. Yes. Vincent our, plays. Our roving hobo. Yes. Vegas Vinny. Yeah. <laughs> the, the redneck <laughs> mafioso. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't joke. He's from that horrible state where those killer people are from. I know. Well, not from I know. Where they, do you know what Bill Clinton's original name was? Slick Willie? <laughs> no, it wasn't Bill Clinton. What was it? Uh, you have to Google it. Oh. I'm going to be like you and force you to do my homework for me. Oh, see but how actually, you are. I come up with a fluke when, well, when I'm on the radio, I don't like to fuck with the computer. I'll blow something up. But what I did was I typed in um, Jefferson, well, William Jefferson Clinton, mm. and it said born 
born as a so-and-so, and that's the name they gave him. <laughs> President of the damn United States, and nobody knows who the hell he was. Oh, do Just you interest- really know who the hell any of them are anyway? No, Mayor, please. Do you, do you think I take any of this history or they said stuff serious, please? I spend quite a money, quite a bit of money on drugs in my life so that I would know better than to believe that George Washington never told a lie. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's stupid to, uh, to believe a thing like that. <laughs> Well, he did, he, too, tell a lie because he lied about chopping down the cherry tree. And that's uh, why he had to marry Martha. <laughs> see, yeah, but then they started that pie shop in, you know, Venezuela. Got in trouble with the dictator down there. It was horrible. I know. I know. Well, Frickin' Peyton is, Place is what it was. What, what I'd really like to know about all that crap is where is it relative in your in your daily life to know what day the king george the fifth of england died on how does that enrich your life to have knowledge like that what what does it do for you oh my god you mean my whole life i have gone without knowing the date that he died oh i feel such a void in my world not yeah but see my my mom taught me how to make a sandwich hey yeah, but the school taught me that King George the Fifth of England was dead on a certain day, and I thought, "Hey, I can make a sandwich." <laughs> so school, not so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. No, it, that's how sadly I look at the world. Is your history doesn't interest me? The fuck do I care about your history? I got a life to live, and you want want to spend my life talking about dead people you'll never know. <laughs> hey, you know what? I found it. Uh, what? William Jefferson Clinton was yeah, born William Jefferson Blythe the third. William Jefferson Blythe the third. Exactly. But you, you can't know, that, carry off that accent when you're from Arkansas. Right, but still, that. That, that doesn't make you wonder what wait a minute this was the president of the united states and all that sex in the white house crap and whatnot but they don't even know who the who is what what his real name is i know hey did you know that his father was an automobile parts salesman <laughs> <laughs> Worked for Henry? Did he work? Well, and he died in a car accident three months before Bill was born. Ooh. And then Virginia Cassidy married Roger Clinton, an automobile dealer. Ah. Ooh. (laughs) And the soup thickens at your table. Stir it up, Miss Mary. I'm stirring. I'm stirring. Foamy smuck at the top. <laughs> oh, she married him when when Slick Willie was seven years old, and the family moved to Hot Springs, where Bill and his younger half brother Roger Jr. attended public schools. Okay, and, now for me, that's the first time in my adult life I had ever been told that Roger and Bill were half brothers. From what Clinton crap I've had to accumulate in the, my adult life. That's news. Oh, and Bill didn't change his last name to Clinton until he was 15 years old. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. How cool is Who that? Who was this guy? I, I mean, don't know, but, but he's he's a freaking creeper. Uh, his, there's is, just something about his eyes. He's just a freaking creeper. But isn't that a weird story? That is. I'm sharing the link in the, in the um, chat. So that everybody can check it out. Oh, so everybody can see. Oh, I brought up something. But I think the point I was really leaning towards making is is that we're told shit and and, and you believe what you're told because that's what you're told. I mean, yeah. You're you really shouldn't have to live a life where you doubt what they're telling you. But it seems like we hit an age where no, that's not possible. <laughs> You, something that they're teaching you and your mind just snaps and says, no, I don't think so, Bosco. There's some shit being explained here. Yeah, but you know, when you look at some of this stuff and you start realizing that 
you started out with this little lie and then in someone else thought I can use this little lie I can use this little theory and so they build on it and then someone else comes along and they build on that building on and then it becomes uh, something really easy to often. really yeah no nah. I think so I think that's a lot of what that. the scientific method shit is anymore. You know, the more I look <laughs> into some of this stuff, the more I think, you guys, this mm. is all theories, and yet you expect everybody to believe it as fact, but you haven't well, been able I, to prove any of no. it. That's why it's still called a theory. Well, dumb down your population, and less people understand that. Yeah, that's true. And less people will be concerned when you bring it to their attention. It's all part of a plan. Come on. Oh, yeah. Well, that's like that. Uh, I shared a meme earlier today, and then I found out that they were on, um, mm. let's see, what? Uh, what is that? Cause, I don't know. Uh, Instagram. Yeah, because <gasps> circles. Mm. You're an Instagram. She's so being, she was being so witty. But there's um, a mm. meme that the real th or that the Free Thought Project shared oh, on okay. Instagram that... Right. Um, the real problem with our education education system is that it tests memorization skills, mm -hmm. yeah. not yeah. for learning or intelligence. And it squeezes out all intelligence, all discipline, and all creativity. Oh, lots of people are fooled into believing that if you can mimic something that you're intelligent. Yeah. And... I found a different way to identify intelligent. Yeah, someone that's able to tend to themselves and, yeah, take care of themselves and work things out so that they can take care of themselves without causing any other undue stressors mm. or offense to others. Well, I never got into the plural side of it. I was just worried about me. Ah, uh, you know, it's my life, so I don't really f spend a lot of time evaluating what other people do or don't do, or do I care about it? Oh, but hey, what? Third parties will bring it to me. Yes. But I don't. I don't care what people do or don't do. It's none of my business. If it's my business, it'll be happening where I can see or smell or feel or something. It. I wouldn't just be imagining it because I read it on the internet. Did you know, I'm reading this on the internet, from Here we go. Natural <laughs> News, the health ranger. I love it. Do you know that Bill, Cl or not Bill Clinton, uh, that Bill Gates owns 500,000 shares of Monsanto? And yet he claims to want to make the world a better place. Yes, he does want to make the world a better place for him. We get that. We understand. That's why he's pushing all those polio vaccines and shit. Because if yeah. you get rid of all of these dirty breathers, you know, the ones that oh, are yeah, taking yeah. up all the scarcity. There's no such yeah. thing as scarcity. But well, the ones that are taking up all of this stuff, if we get rid of all of them, he can live a much more lavish lifestyle. More, 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 more. Well, where do you expect Hank to live? I mean, come on. Think about it. In a cave. What, what about Hank? You what know? about Hank? You know, Cave yeah. wants to live in. He wants to live in a cave. That's what those underground bunkers are. They're just fancy caves. They call it an yeah. underground bunker because it's got more syllables to it. Listen to George <laughs> Carlin. He will tell you. <laughs> I know. George, George was, he was, I, I don't know if he was joking half the time. Sometimes I thought he was just talking. Yeah. Yeah. And then you realize, holy shit, George was telling me the truth and here I laughed it no, off. No, I, no, 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 no. That's your version of it. my version's different. No, I was never in doubt of it being truth or not truth. It was the uh, openness of it got him killed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he was going in front of Congress, and he was shooting his mouth off about everything the way he saw it. Oh, yeah. And he was getting a following, and that's dangerous to a government. So he expected to live to be about 90, and he didn't because he had a heart attack out of absolutely nowhere. Which is usually how they happen. But have you seen mm. the last... Uh, when he did a, a a talk in front of the press club in D.C., that I was, think I've seen at some point 
every every bit of work he's done. So you'd have to. I mean, I don't know how to say yes or no to to ex- accept that part. <laughs> well, that was Everything a real available. I've seen it. He's that was a real bada bing bada boom. Well, right, and the more honest you are, the more dead they get you. Like they got <laughs> Robin Williams. Yeah, he said something something somewhere to somebody. And boom, the next thing you know, he's committing suicide because his life is miserable. You know, all that money just he couldn't bear it anymore. He had, to, yeah. he had to make room for refugees. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and then after he died, it comes out that, well, he had Parkinson's disease. Well, he had this. Well, he had that. Nah. You know, and, and, and his new wife was a bitch, which, okay. He was Robin uh, Williams. He had a lot of money, and this is wife number three, and they'd only been married well, uh, I don't like know. six See, months. It's again. like, mm. but this is tabloid shit. Yes. Story. You weren't involved in any of this crap. So, you know, people are, are drawn to, to that to stuff. To tabloids. Well, that's because Why? the Men in Black says that that's where the real news is. Duh. <laughs> and I'm the one smoking a pipe and you're talking about men in black. <laughs> like it was a real thing. Uh, wow. no. Well, it is. Welcome. It's... Welcome to the dark table where just about any damn thing you can imagine could happen. Yeah. <laughs> and odds uh, are no, Grammy's going to say it. Yeah. No, no. I, I seriously believe that you are the one that decides. Mm. Mm. I am? Mm. Yeah, for each person, we are rep- It's like representing a government, only on a smaller scale, because you're only your own government. Oh uh, well, there ain't yeah. Nobody, there ain't nobody else. There's just you. I am my own country. That's it. And you I form the- alliances with other countries. Exactly, you're Mary Ania, and you've got your flag with a big eye on it. <laughs> <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> I'm the queen of Grammyland. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. But, aren't, but see, aren't we all? Are you the queen of Grammyland too? <laughs> only, only no, in you my are, sense of you're reality. You're the king of Louisville. Yeah, or whatever would be appropriate for self. Yeah, yeah I'm there just you go. But I think other people think like I do, and Cirque's always telling me, no, they don't. <laughs> Oh. You don't think they don't think like that? <laughs> no, no. But it's logical. Yes, it's logical. But they don't think like that. Well, and it's logical to... for you, but their logic is different. It's theirs. That's your assumption. On I didn't explain what it was. I was just making a general point here, Miss. I have an opinion, guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, With the big eye. Or maybe you've been talking to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is that right, honey? Has she, have you been speaking with Miss Mary? <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, know. You know, if you do, I probably just don't pay attention. Mm, see how you are. Yeah, she's over there typing with somebody. I don't know. Don't. She's typing with them. What? It's not my business. It's only my business if she's typing to me. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, well, that's how life is. Do you know that that privacy upsets people? <laughs> you don't care what I'm writing. What? <laughs> Not Zurich. I'm just saying I've had some very strange responses to my lack of interest in what other people are doing. Well... You know, so long as they're doing it on the other side of the planet and it's not going to directly affect you, really, is it, it's like... I wonder if you're on the other side of town, if you could actually do anything that could directly affect me. But, mm, you know, it's debatable. I, I don't know where to draw the line. How much of this is real? I mean, the older I get, the less of it I see as real. I get more detached from it, the, the thing. Speaking of weird, okay... Give you an example. There's a, a grocery store I do a lot of trading at. Go down there and get my necessary supplies for, you know, Cirque's bacon and such and vittles and whatnot. You, you, you following me here? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, I'm going to take you on a little trip into Freddy Town. So, uh, yeah, this after the Christmas holidays, everybody and his dog is in the store 
buying shit because the stores were closed for three days, mm-hmm. right? So people are getting caught up. It's, it's a small town. Anyway, so the delay that I had, I had to wait because of the lines, when I got outside, I run into the one of the kids that works in the store that's real interested in getting better at speaking English. Oh, good. Yeah, right. So I spoke to him, in the, and we're chitter-chattering out there, and, and I'm going to give him information to bring him on to Real Liberty Media and listen to the dork table next week. Cool. But he said that his uh, his he doesn't speak as good a German as he does English because he hears more English over the internet. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, people that want to learn multi languages usually have goals. Yes, you know, they get those are the fuckers that are planning something in there. They're working for a goal. Oh, them they're plotters yeah. and schemers. Ooh. Yeah, and he's a nice kid. Friendly is friendly is. Uh, as I could be if I was a nice guy, I'd be like that. But I'm not. I'm different. Well, yeah. You know, but there's a balance. But being able to speak English in Denmark is, um, it's, I don't know. It's just like having an extra dollar in your pocket. It doesn't hurt you, but it doesn't do you any real good. Ah. Yeah, because so few people speak English here. It's pointless. You might as well just not bother. But the guy's got to have plans beyond Denmark. Now, I see that in him. Of course, I, you know, I'm an old man now. I look at a kid and go, ah, this one, nah. Just buy him a bag of heroin now and get it over with. <laughs> You're not listening. Well, no, because actually um, I see Bubs had shared something, and I was waiting for uh, you to I'm finish <laughs> I just made the most horrible joke I could think of because to prove that you don't listen to me. <laughs> um, now, I'm somewhere between laughing and crying. I don't know where. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I'm leaning toward laughing. It's funny. Uh, well, Go Bubs ahead. lives. I'm Bub here. lives in Wisconsin. Mm. Um, he's in northern, up in the north part of Wisconsin. Oh, and, Brainiacville, right? Where yeah. it's twenty five thousand below. Yeah. Yeah. We're all smart live yeah yeah and he said he shared this meme that says wisconsin come for the cheese stay because your car won't start and (laughs) you know what's really funny about that is amy lynn was over the other day and i gave her the banana bread that i made for her and then um i blended up some oils for her because she's having allergy and sinus issues again and as we were talking she was talking about when she moved to wisconsin she lived in green bay for about three or four years And uh, she said when she first got there, you know, she's driving up there after she graduated from college. As soon as she finished her last exam, got her her test results and stuff, she hauled ass for Wisconsin and got there about midnight. And she noticed all of these cars that had these things hanging down underneath the car. And, and, you know, it was dark, so she really couldn't tell what it was. Well, the next morning, she gets up to go out and start her car and, and... it's 35 freaking degrees below zero and her car won't start. And she realized, oh, those are plug-ins so that you can plug in your car and block heaters. <laughs> and she had a little, she had a little Mustang at the time. But yeah, it's like, ooh, Wisconsin, it gets very cold in Wisconsin. Very cold. Yeah, I'd, I'd sooner pet a porcupine than spend five hours in that kind of situation thank you there you go no thank you not gonna do it don't nope Cirque's not gonna go any further north than we are now and this is cold enough thank you ah. i have spoken yeah no, hey i put my foot down hell no i put my ass down on the chair and my feet both feet down on this one. <laughs> oh, your ass down on the chair too just make sure it's not really really cold and there is no moisture involved because you'd be stuck. <laughs> well, I made a joke one. I made a joke one day about my version of cold because of where I grew up, and I got I got insulted about it. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. It's because it, other people think, well, if you can't take this, that, 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 well, I'm not where I can't take it. I'm just saying, if it's you're gonna laugh. You ready? I'm ready. If it's less than 72 degrees, I can tell, and it's cold. <laughs> and that's how I can tell, because I feel cold. I'm not 
doing anything. I'm not conspiring about anything. My body says, oh, I'm cold. And I go, well, it must be 71 degrees or colder. Oh. Ta-da. Ah. Right, right, right. And that, that turned into, oh, you don't know what cold is. Blah, 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 blah. And it, I don't have the fucking interest to find out what cold is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck about anything beyond zero. <laughs> yeah, I saw a, zero oh, is enough. I saw a weather forecast for this weekend, just one of them snarky ass weather reports, and it said, um, "Warning, Southerners, do yeah. not travel under any circumstances. Those of you in the North, put on your big coat." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right and. That's the point is where I was born, I was comfortable in that for many years. And as I've moved, I thought I've acclimated to the area I was in. And I never really do. I think I do for a minute, but no, I can always tell when it's 72 degrees. (laughs) Ah, well, it's a body memory kind of thing. And no, Grimmy, I don't know that her Mustang, no, Ames didn't have a mustache, but her hubby Uh did. Her hubby a had mustache. a mustache. <laughs> the mustache Mustang mystery on yeah. the dark table. And a horse, Either too. One to answer Grimm's question, did she have a Mustang and a mustache? <laughs> I have a freckle mustache. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> well. I, I don't think so. I don't think it hey, does. Hey, you know what? You know that idea I had last week about raffling off a dream date with you? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I rethought it. Okay, <laughs> well, it, was, it sounded better when I thought it than it did when I said it out loud. <laughs> so <laughs> I I had a little time to, you know, sit back and think, wow, you really said that to her? <laughs> and I, I would like to take back my idea, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was just wrong on more levels than I was capable of counting that day. <laughs> I I do apologize. <laughs> uh, okay, now that I got that joke out of the way, I feel much better now. There you wow. go. I, I'm a funny fucking guy over here, Miss Mary. You just be careful. <laughs> I get you in all kinds of trouble. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. You that's ever been okay. Too, you ever been too drunk to fish? <laughs> yes, actually, I have. <laughs> it was okay, a long next time ago. <laughs> next topic. Uh oh. <laughs> that's this you know. I was show. just in charge of the bank bait. You know, I didn't deal with the other stuff. So. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Whatever the hell that meant. Uh, do I look like a fisherman to you there, Aqua Girl? I mean, come on. I, I think uh, I've been, um, I hold the record for refusing to go fishing in four or five states. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, nah. Don't want any part of no, gonna no. stick no dick in my hand and put some tuna on it so a fish will bite it. No, thank you very much. Oh, Pass I don't it. know who you've been fishing with, but that ain't the way most of us do it. Although, Look, I'm the one that, looks. you know, I sit in the lawn chair. Stick. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, yeah. see, I sit in a lawn chair with a book and a camera <laughs> and the bank oh, bait cooler right beside me. And then, you know, if somebody needs a picture of, look what you <laughs> caught. It's a little two-inch <laughs> slimy thing so i take a picture of it and then i tell them okay go have your dad take it off the hook and then when dad comes over i hand him some bank bait and and i go back to reading my book (laughs) that's my idea of fishing so yeah oh you're all choked up over that one (laughs) miss miss mary That was a heartwarming story. <laughs> I'm very, very glad that you took the time to tell that. To I, I do indeed feel <laughs> special. <laughs> I know. Okay. You got all choked up over it, didn't you? <laughs> no, that was... No, no, that, 
Don't try and deny it. Don't tell me you were taking a toke when I was telling that. No, I know. No. It choked you up. I know it, it did. No, it was this herd of gnomes came running through the <laughs> living room, and one of them kicked me in the leg really hard. Caught me off guard. And as I fell, the sound of headphones made sounded a lot like a car. <laughs> I don't know. That's your story, and you're sticking to it. All righty, then. Figure out what the hell a Mustang has to do with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Grim, right there on the RLM chat, staring at me like, like boobs. This and many more things that deal with cosmic significance on the next Freaker's Ball. Because, yeah, only Grim uh -oh. can answer that one because, yeah, he is the Grim. Mm. Well. <laughs> wow. I know. It's a very deep subject, isn't it? Well, I <sighs> just see boring boring small town life, it you know what it does? It leads you to happiness. And uh -huh. happiness did yeah, and Louis Hewitt tell me the bad side of happiness. Doesn't mean you're gonna be bopping around all the time on fucking cloud nine like some kind of elf with a bag full of drugs it just means that you get to be happy ah so well, you, you, should, you know what the downside is of happiness is don't you um the downside of happy there's a downside yeah. to this shit yes there is, is. yes there is because oh. mick jagger said that those were not wrinkles on his face those were smile lines and someone else, when they heard that, said, wow, I didn't know it was possible to smile that much. But that's the downside, is you might look like Mick Jagger. <laughs> okay, only in my mind. The, I thought they were just the scars of taking it upside the head so many times. That could but very well be, too. Smiles? That's good. Never mind. I wouldn't quote Jagger anyway. Oh, Grimmy says it just sounds similar. Hey, Torque Testicle has joined. Sound. That guy that's Yo, just a little on the tweaked up, side. Tweaked. <laughs> well, you, you well, torque your testicle in life. Eh. Yeah, well, you know, tweaked sounds a lot less painful than torqued. Does it? Uh-huh. Are you Ooh. are you deciding this for me, or are we going to vote on it? Or Hey, you know what? That's a good point, isn't it, in itself? Uh-huh. It's, you you believe whatever it is you believe, and I do too, uh -huh. and then we talk about this crap, and we use certain sounds to tell the other idiot, hey, you're being an idiot. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Or, mm -hmm. you go, hey, what did you call me, Captain Asshole? <laughs> 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 or, you know, whatever, whatever uh, the arrangement of the sounds makes a word. And then that rings a harmony. Uh -huh. And the funny ones are, oh, the funny ones are the best. <laughs> when you, we, we've been doing pretty steady for about the last three months. Mm -hmm. You've been making me giggle like a 15-year-old girl at a Marvin Day gay party. Oh, a Marvin right. Day gay party, huh? You know, that black fella that did all those lovey-dovey songs but couldn't keep a woman happy? I did not know that. Hmm. Well, you know, they always tell you, too. You know, those who can't do, teach. Ah. Maybe there's something to it. There may be something to that. You know? Hmm. But it depends on the topic. You know, like the best welder in the world would probably not be the guy that told you how to do it, but the guy that physically did it. But on the other hand, the guy that gives you, you know, advice on how to deal with a female. Mm-hmm. Some people need to be more selective about who they listen to. Yeah. But Marvin Gaye, he, he was one of the guys that could get you uh, where you were going with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, see, life is separated so that you can identify who you're looking for. You know, if you're an artist, you look for a fellow artist. If you're a, a romantic, you look for a fellow romantic that listens to Marvin Gaye. You'll find one out there, you know, as an example. <laughs> the, yeah. the names change as age, you know, from decade to decade. But they're all groomed to get certain people to perform certain tasks. You just got to know what the task they want from you is and don't ah, do it. 
perform like little circus funkies. Yay! And any, anybody that you know that tells you to seek freedom has a trap waiting for you. Oh. Well, why would you have to look for something if you already got it? Hmm? Hey, you know, there is a cosmic question. Well, the problem is a lot of people don't realize that they already uh, got it, so they're still out there looking. Well, what if I don't really want it in the first place? Then why are you looking for something that you well, don't I really want? I was. I was, uh, I was assuming the sale with repeating the statement. Well, I have been approached with that. Not much. It's never been my idea. I, I never came to them and said, I want to be free. But they've come to me many times and said, you're going to jail. <laughs> oh. You, you broke our little rule over here, and we're going to have to hold you against your will in our little cage with guards and guns. And blah, 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 blah. You know, and that's life. That's how people want life to be. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. So you know what happened? What? Life opened doorways for me to uh, get away from it and not have to return to it if I didn't want to. Sweet. Start a whole new fucking... Yeah. Well, I, I think everybody is like me and, well, maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, what about that? Mm, see, that's mm. one of those wonderful little things where everybody is like you and yet not. You know, they're all the mm. same thing, only different. Yeah, well... You think it would make sense to somebody after all these years, but we're all baffled. <laughs> <laughs> no two people come up with the same conclusion and looking at the same damn thing. Yeah. So, hmm, what are we to make of this dilemma? Well, it doesn't really matter. It's all about you, not about me and you. It's about you and you. We're just oh. in your way. Yeah. In life, Mary, I'm just a, an obstacle for you to either entertain or or avoid <laughs> oh you make your choice and then you follow through true there you go some people are um, very in your face about getting your attention and some people aren't true yeah I don't know I'm making some uh, uh, observations of my fellow man and reporting it on the dork table program Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, you're reporting that on the Dork Table program. And, and while you're mm -hmm. reporting, and you're being ever so good at reporting, I'm oh, over yeah. here looking on Fakie Book, and I see this meme <laughs> that has a message on the lid of the toilet <laughs> seat that says, If you pee on the seat, I will scrub it with your toothbrush. Love, Mom. Oh, what wow. a good mommy. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really see what could possibly uh, be wrong with that well that sounds fair actions have consequences but you know yeah well it's like um i had watched a video some guy that was talking about you know he's he does marriage counseling and he's a, a pastor but he's actually mm. pretty damn funny and, um, Ooh, best and, of guy. Ah. and he was talking about how women are always complaining about how you're always missing when you're going pee. And he said, no. you, you know, probably what's going on here is you're still talking mm. while we're in the bathroom trying to go pee. And you keep talking and then you go, did you hear me? And so <laughs> while we're still taking care of business, we turn and go, what? And then look down. <laughs> and it made no. sense. It made no, sense because I do know people no. that probably no. do that. I'm a man and I'm telling you, no. No, well, see, you're different. You're different. No, I'm not. <laughs> it, my upbringing may be different, but I'm just as I'm just as much as whatever I am as anybody else. No different. Well, yeah, you are whatever you are. You definitely it's are. It's the same as you. Just you only got different. A third. You got a third act. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't live like near Chernobyl you, or Fukushima. You look like a AT experiment escapee is what you look like. <laughs> well, thank you. you. Your third that, eye growing out your forehead. That's that's <laughs> a look I was going for. I tell you, it's very clever. <laughs> I I foresee great things happening to you. 
I I think you should wear that to work Monday morning. <laughs> oh, oh darn! I don't work Monday morning. Oh darn! Good day to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No witnesses except for the camera. Well, that no. Oh, wait a minute here. Do they have cameras? Oh, that would just oh, be yeah. freaking creepy. Are you kidding me? Do they have cameras in a car lot? <laughs> they got something on a car lot. Those things are expensive. Yes, they are. How many cars? Are. Hundred of cars do you have on your property at any given time? Maybe no, fifty. Oh, okay. Still 50 cars. Like, yeah, but only, up, I think maybe right? right now 20 of them are new. Oh, please. That knocks it down a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the new ones are actually covered by insurance or by, you know, whatever. Something to you do, do with, with GM, whereas the used ones, they have to actually pay insurance on them. So, yeah. And, and I consider myself of the poor class. Because my finances, mm -hmm. my personal thing, right? Uh -huh. And I don't, uh, I don't see how it's possible to talk in millions and billions of dollars. All yeah, it's like it's, it's so common. Oh yeah, seven two hundred and fifty million dollars saved from the United Nations fund, but not two words about the other eighty percent they're still getting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and it's such astronomical amounts of money. And, and here we are, you know, we're not living on anywhere near that. We're poor. Because <laughs> $250 million, I'm never going to see that. <laughs> $250 million is not even a spit in the ocean. Oh, wait. Well, okay. Well, all that talk aside, still a loaf of bread doesn't cost that much money yet. So no, it doesn't. Don't, don't curse me. But I'm not cursing you. But what I'm making a point of, Mary, is mm -hmm. how it, it's so common to speak of amounts of money that astronomical, like it's normal. It yeah. is insane. They should stop it right now and quit. Yeah, <laughs> well, it is insane. It really goes wrong. These people are fucking crazy. Well, you know, when you try and figure all this stuff out and, you know, just by going with their numbers, it really, it gets to where it's quite literally mind-boggling because you put so many numbers so many zeros behind a number like mm. my uncle tommy always said when you put so many num uh, zeros behind a number yeah. it becomes yeah. an unreal number and well, that's where, why okay. they do it because people just kind of go i i don't get it I, I, well i'm not real concerned about what other people get or don't get at this point anymore i know and yet I'm Sometimes you are. I'm surrounded by loyal uh, Danes. Flag waving, loyal, you know, Danish Danes. I'm a, I'm a visitor in on their soil. Ah. Yeah, I'm not here to change anything for the, anybody. Oh, okay. No, no, no. The, being living where I'm at is a byproduct of a relationship I got into. It got nothing to do with politics. Ooh, hey, I just did the weather thingy over here in RLM. Mm. It's 9.6 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. Yee Outside your door. Yeah. Wow. Um, er, well, it, actually in town, but. It's minus 12 where Mary's at right now, sir. Wow. Yeah. Our, your temperature, minus 12. Yeah. yeah. She's over there on the couch saying, petting the dog saying, poor Mary. So, <laughs> That's why huh. I'm staying inside. Cause, well, yeah. man, I'll tell you, and you got a sense of humor enough to at least, if you got to stay warm, make fun of it. Oh, you know? hell yeah. Have the last fucking laugh some way or another. Don't be a victim of everything. And I think some people um, have a hard way of, of putting it out. That's what they're talking about. Well, you know, some people, everything happens to them. You know, and those are the ones that are the victims. But it happened hmm. to me, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I can yeah. understand that, sure. But it doesn't matter because it didn't happen to me. And that was what I was talking about a half hour ago is the core of the whole thing is whoever you are, this is all about you. You're not yeah. doing anything fucking wrong being selfish and thinking for yourself and doing for yourself. It's when you avoid the other guy to do for yourself when you shouldn't.
And there's times where you know. Yeah. I believe uh, some people are more in tune with what's going on than others. Yes. Yeah. You know, like Grim, Grim's question about would I give a stranger money if he asked me and promised to give it back? And, and I told him it, the answer to that would be relative to what I had in my pocket. You know, if, if it was a good enough story and it was worth, sure, here, try it. Let's see what goes with it. You never know what life's going to bring you. And if you do lose it, if you've got enough money, what difference does the loss make? So what? It's just money. It's not real anyway. Yeah. Because I'll tell you one thing. You can stand outside of a grocery store all night with a $100 bill in your pocket. And if the store's not open, you're fucked. Yeah. So money isn't really the most important thing. Money is a tool that you can use to improve things. But it seems what happens to us as humans is we get some of it. And then when the uh, the threat of what the government does to us actually grips you and takes over, then you spend the rest of your adult life in your mind fighting to keep the things that you work all day to have. And I think that's the height of insanity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd read something along those lines a while back, something about, um, you know, you go to work all day long to earn money so that you can have nice things, and then once yeah. you get nice things, you have to continue going to work to yeah. earn more money to be able to keep and pay for those nice, you know, maintain those nice things, and you never get to appreciate those nice things. Mm, right. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm not for that kind of lifestyle. Yeah. I I'm, no, I'm for a, a people should do what makes them feel good. Yeah. But I think also that we as people are taught a lot of crap that directs what you define as good. And it, we're damaged in the process as human beings, and we grow up and we do st just treat each other bad and greedy, and I want this, and I need 15 cars, and there's a guy down the road doesn't have a pair of shoes. And they call that life, and I don't. <laughs> yeah. I call, call it planned obsolescence and done on purpose. And they use the people they do it to to abuse other people and Maybe my version of what I'm looking at might be different than yours, but that's what I'm seeing. Well, you know, I just see a bunch of people fighting over a tool. It's a freaking tool. It's a tool. That's what I call it. Yeah. Yeah. But it becomes something deeper or more important because they're willing to kill and maim and hoard and deprive other people of what they need and cause imbalances to get more of this paper crap that they want, more zeros on their numbers. It, basically what it boils down to, and they use physical force and money as ways to get their way. And it's like a room full of 100 people doing this, and the rest of us put up with it. Ah. And, it, and I've spent my adult life doing what I can to not put up with it. Ah. Well, see, mm. there you go. It's not very popular, I'll tell you that. Well, you but don't have to worry about popular. Are you in a popularity contest? I want to be alive is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Popular, it was a, a road to that word. But I'm not the one that's uh, pro anything, you know. I'm the last guy to ever want to join something and make it more powerful. <laughs> oh, that's the problem with groupthink. You know, is is the group gets bigger and the thinking gets dumber. It's well, just kind of the way it works, I think. Or that's the way I see it from the outside. Well, it's all a matter of interpretation. Yeah. You know, like, hmm. What can we use as an example to garbage about here on the dorky table? What's a dorky topic for this one? What's a dorky mm. topic? Well, I just shared um, a tweet 
um, mm. about Here's Hillary Bill Clinton. Clinton. Yes, well, you know, it was it's uh, supposedly Hillary. from um, supposedly, but it, it was on the internet um, uh. from a WikiLeaks released um, email, Hitlery emails, and yeah. You know why that sounds painful, Miss Mary. Yeah, well. You, here, look. Let me tell you what I understand about the the Hillary, um, Cl- uh, not Clinton, but Trump thing, right? What do you understand? From, I have a, an aunt. Mm-hmm. My aunt in America lives in California, mm-hmm. and her presidential interests lie towards the Democrats. Yeah. And her verbal explanation of it is basically she's a religious woman, uh-huh. blah, 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 blah. She's a, a, she's a member of a minority. She's female. And the Republicans are all a bunch of rich, white, evil bastards that want you dead. Mm-hmm. Well, when I tried to tell her that that's exactly what your side is, just they lie about it. <laughs> well, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, that's well, how blatant the Republicans are so blatant. They'll tell you, hey, fuck you, we'll kill you. And then they'll just kill you. Yeah. The Democrats are just a bunch of sneezy little cheese balls that hide behind law and order and do what they want anyway. Well, and but they, they do all they, this they, fun they, stuff, but they do it and they, they wear these Republican badges, you know, or, or, or this right wing extremist badge, you know, and say, oh. I'm a right wing extremist and I'm doing this. Pay attention to the little badge I'm wearing. Don't pay attention yeah, to what I'm doing. My point is that they're both the same Yeah. to me. It's no different than the other. I don't, I don't really see a difference. But to my aunt, who does believe there's a difference, her reasoning is the other side is telling lies and stories about my candidate. This is how she reasons through it. Not Hillary doesn't. She would never do that. Whatever that is, I don't even want to read it. Because it's from the enemy. Wow. Are you kidding me? (sighs) Yeah. These people smoke and drink and eat together every freaking day, but they're sworn enemies? No, you're being had like a sandwich. Well, it's it's no different than all-star wrestling. No, no. You know, I'll bet you when they're in those clinches, they're talking about, yo, dude, is dinner still on tonight? Is your wife making meatloaf? Yeah, what, I'll what bring a is, nice Chianti. <laughs> what is it about anything that seems to catch the public eye in a, in a large number is really stupid? Uh, that's what I told you. Group think. The bigger the group gets, the dumber the thinking gets. Because any based... group is only as intelligent as the dumbest one in the group. Because the dumbest one's usually the loudest one, too. Really? Mm-hmm. Usually, yeah, yeah, because Uh-oh. they want to be heard. You must listen mm-hmm. to me, you know. And then they get off-ended, and wow. yeah, it's just fun. Then there's two of us. So which one of us is the dumber one, and when? <laughs> I have the third eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I had an uncle years ago. Well, he's passed away now, but years ago when I was a teenager, I I used to hang out with him, old Uncle Joe. And Uncle Joe had a girlfriend. Her name was Hope. And he had this thing about he'd raise his hand to her and he'd go, you see this woman. And she'd make a triangle out of her two hands with her fingers and her thumbs. And she'd show him that and go, hey, stupid, you see this? (laughs) 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 And that's another one of those dark days where I woke up to, wow. Mm-hmm. Boy, who's got the power in this fucking deal? Uh-huh. Oh, mm-hmm. the one with the boobs has the advantage. <laughs> with two of those, you can do many things. <laughs> Ooh. Many things in life will come your way. <laughs> yes. Well. Well, that's what they say anyway. I'm just repeating old stories I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have any personal experience, actually. <laughs> But oh. I have read a book or two. Oh, you have? Right, honey? <laughs> I don't know. I'm an old man. I've learned a thing or two. This ain't, what is, what is Moose? I love the thing Moose says. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
You know what? You want to hear something? What's that? I've never been in a rodeo. You haven't? I, I don't think I've ever been to a rodeo. If I did go, I was loaded out of my mind because I don't ever remember in it. So it, it would be my first rodeo because I've never done one. But I'd sure like to see the one Moose went to. Ah. Yeah, that was a animal joke. Well, you know, I um I've been to like big people rodeos. I've been to one of those and it was like, "Oh, okay, it was kind of cool, but yet it wasn't." And then I've been to little kids rodeos. And those were I actually um my ex and I were in charge of the little kids night for a couple of years there at our county fair. Yeah. And we had little kid rodeo where you Aww. had the little kids had to try and catch a greased pig and Aww, or um, or trying to catch little sheep or stuff like that. And oh, my God, it was so funny. And the kids had yeah. a blast. The and, animals have fun. The oh, yeah. The have... animals had a blast, too. I mean, they were yeah. running around. Then, they, you know, once everybody stopped trying to chase them and catch them and stuff, they'd come up and they'd nudge your hand and want to be petted and stuff. It's funnier than hell, but oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, it, I it highly recommend animals, little kid rodeos to the big Mary, ones. Mary, compared to animals, we're the smart ones. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> That's what they tell me. Oh, well. My dog would go near you if you meant her harm. You know? So. Yeah. Think about that for a minute. She would know better already. You don't need to tell her anything. But a human being, nah. Human being, you can warn a human being all day and all night. It's one of those things. Got to touch that fire and find out how hot all by itself. That's how you know you're dealing with a human being. <laughs> Yeah. Why aren't human beings afraid of fire, Miss Mary? Do you know the answer to that question? Huh? <laughs> but it's huh? so shiny. It's so bright. Look at yeah. that. Touch it. Touch it. Ow. <laughs> You're yeah. like that, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, I poke shit with sticks. Or maybe order somebody else to do it for me, depending on my mood. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, there's a nice way to... Uh, actually tell other people what to do and it's socially acceptable they call it please and thank you and it's just ordering other people about because if they said no the other people around them would get mad at them <laughs> ah. mm. think about it if you are in somebody's vicinity of space so close that you need to ask them to physically do something, then you're giving them the opportunity to say no. You're asking them. You're not pointing a gun and say, do it or I'll kill you. You're being polite. Please do this. And in the sense, it's the same as pointing the gun because the results are usually the same. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Experiment with it in a playful way with somebody that you know won't kill you when it's over. And... When you're expected to say yes, don't. And see how they treat you about it. Say no. <laughs> Just say no. I, you know that, what's that woman's name, Reagan or something, though? Just say no to drugs woman. President's wife. No, that was name? Barbara Bush. There you go. I stole, I stole from her and I wrote this one. You ready? Ready. Are you, are you sitting down? Yes, I am, actually. All right. Use your third item to receive this one. Ready? Yeah, I'm Just ready. Just say no to thugs. Hey. Huh? Is that clever? Huh? 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 I like that and one. And do you know that if, if you've got the nut to say no to thugs, chances are you might not have to encounter any. Just being on that wavelength of I'm not dealing with this shit takes you off the prey list already. You're not prey anymore. Oh, okay. Well, it's a hunter's thing, right? I figure it like that. If I was a them, how would I find people like me? I'd hunt for them. What would I look for? I'd look for the weak, slow ones and get all of them because they're easy prey. Ah. Oh, hey, you know what? I'm looking in the RLM chat. Solomon called last night. Damn it. Hey, Solomon. No kidding. No country specified. Well, that's okay. 
It's his privacy that's at stake in the first place. Oh, dang it. Well, now I'm definitely going to have to listen in. I'll, yeah. Mm. We, have good, we have a good um, Freaker's Ball for the week. Yay. Well, Solomon, if you're listening, hon, Happy New Year or Happy New... Um, Happy change of the the uh, celestial time clock according to the Gregorian calendar. <laughs> yeah, what she said, Solomon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Twice. Uh, and Grim, Grim and Solomon have been doing the radio for a long time. Yes, well, they have. Well, they did. So. Mm. Yes, yeah. I hope the new. I hope this coming year keeps him safe. You know, and I just I hope it keeps him safe. Because I like Solomon. Yeah. He's yeah. he's a dear, dear, intelligent man. So, What's there not to like? <laughs> I know. Yeah. I, I saw him getting tore up in the chat one night about, um, it was a, a sex comment. And, of course, it brings out the childish ones, as you would expect. And the question was, so how do you know so much about that topic? And his answer was, I read a fucking book. <laughs> 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 I read a fucking book. Bu- there you go. Yeah. You know? But it was so quick and right, boom, time, and no thinking about it. He just... Yeah. Because he knew, he knew what to say to this guy to shut him up. Oh. Oh, Grimmy yes. said that he called Tuesday night, and he played that oh. message on the show. Okay. Thanks, uh, Grimmy. We got, yeah, well, we've got podcasts then, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that he's still yeah. among us, you know, still wandering around in his mobile meat suit. Oh yeah, he okay. I played the message on the show. Then it'll be on on the yeah, it'll be on the rerun. Yeah, I Sweet. don't know how to speak in your modern day jibber jabber talk. I talk like an old TV show guy watcher. You know, my wife cracks up because I still use the term video game. <laughs> well, I still call them video games too, and it's yeah, what, but, and I actually have a video game thingy. So. Yeah, I don't. I think they were already out by the time she was old enough to use one. They'd already been replaced with something else. So anyway, I was making an age joke. Yeah. Okay. Jay Dredd is saying something about. Um, oh. Let's Lord. see. Okay. The world is under the jackboot of globalist military complex. Yes, I agree with that, and has been a fact since before any of us were born. Which, yeah, this has been a very. This is they're going for the long game. And it will be a fact until the end of World War III when 99% of people are dead. And no, I disagree with that completely. World War III is a war on your mind. They don't actually have to blow things up. Thank you, Grim. You know, they don't actually have to do... I mean, that's that's just the sparkle pony stuff that they throw out there yeah. is that, oh, look, let's... Because, you know, it's not a real celebration if you don't have some fireworks. So... It works so good, though. Yes, it does. You know, and it also works very well as, um, you know, a way of, you know, if you don't do this... We're going to do this to you next, you know, so they use it. They use people as examples and they blow them to bits because they can because they're evil bastards. And it works. And it does work because people go, well, I don't want that shit done to me. But once again, that is a war on your mind. You know, you don't really. I didn't know that. Thank you. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's just... Of course it is, Mary. What else would it be? Oh, you're saying that there's people out there in radio land that don't know what it truly is? Uh, possibly. Mm-hmm. Okay. My mistake. I did not mean to interrupt. Proceed. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. I just, you know, everybody is so worried about mm. World War Three is going to be nukes, and the only way I'm it'll not... be nukes is as a last a resort, because... They're winning wanna, that war with a war on your mind with a lot of people. But. I I want to be everybody, too, and I don't think there's going to be World War III. I think we're in it already. Yeah, we are. We have been for quite a while. They've been messing with our minds and battling with right. putting so demons the violence, in there. Right, and so the violence that the, the statist voter mind wants so they can conquer is uh, is the third stage that we haven't hit yet. We're still in stage one, 
They haven't got to the second part yet. Oh, oh, hey, you know what? Jay Dredd even said that it took him 10 years to get his best friend to see that the NFL's rigged, which, yeah, I believe that, too. I mean, there's some of those. Uh, you know, uh, any okay. any kind of big sporting, you know, that they yeah. sell tickets for or, Let me you go. know. Millions of dollars. Yeah, if there's <clears throat> millions and billions and billions of dollars involved, you know, like, Oh, we're making so much money that we're going to build a new sports complex. By the way, we need the no. taxpayers to pay for it. Yeah, not one NFL um, dome has ever been done outside of taxpayer payer dollars. Yeah, all of them. It's just like the you know the it's race tracks, the race tracks, it's all that shit. Yeah, it's all a scam. It's all done on the public dime. <laughs> And then on top of the whole thing, which I say every week at least once or twice or ten times, the money ain't real in the first damn place. So we're playing all on promises that we'll pay someday. Everybody is. Mm -hmm. Credit. It's a credit-based world. Get in debt. What difference does it make? Yeah. Pay it. Don't pay it. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Do you think that your, your little, your little uh, what, say that it was a million dollars that you had and you default on it. Is that they're trading five trillion a day? Five banks trading five. Where does your million bother anybody, please? Yeah, it's make believe, and they even give you shortcuts. Remember the thing you were reading last week about uh, third parties cannot collect debts because they've been written off the taxes. Yeah, yeah. So they're actually they're they're stealing it from you, if, and unless you. Uh, if you willingly go along with it, it's on you. But if you fight them, they're stealing it from you and they got no right to your money. But yeah. people are so conditioned by society and whatever they believe society's got power to do that they believe every fucking word they're told. Well, and see, once again, that just shows that money that is a master manipulation tool and it has been around for eons. That's the long game. That they've been playing. Right. You have to have this inert object that cannot feed you, cannot take care of your family. You have to have this and you have to trade <laughs> it for something that you can either eat or wear. You know, as opposed to, oh, wait a minute. You grew stuff that you could either eat or wear and then you traded it for this inner yeah. object so that yeah. you could go out and buy something you can eat. Or where? Uh -huh. Talk about a wow! Middleman well, created their own position and then tricked everybody into believing you need me. I'm the middleman. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah, because there's not enough time in your day to deal with all the things that we're doing to you. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, if you just blindly trust them, then it makes it easier for them to put fluoride in your water, poison your fucking inoculations, rig your damn political fucking games that you play, and do all the horrible shit that goes on right in front of you. You can't stop it. But you can step away from it, you know, or at least People limit your against, participation in it. Yeah. People are starting to march against Monsanto in huge numbers. Mm-hmm. Millions, two million. And That's you know what? A little bit. Yeah, and the governments, they, you know, like I saw something a couple weeks back that Italy was, um, had decided to go ahead and allow Monsanto to renew its license in Italy. And that's after all of their brouhaha of, we won't, we don't want you to poison our people and we don't want this. And then what happens? Behind closed doors, where I'm sure a little bit of that manipulative inert object was passed underneath the table and then all of a sudden well we renewed their license too yeah well, right you, you know just really basically extorted them into paying you more of that inert object so that you can <laughs> leverage people again well i like the the constant war and the results of the war are the fault of the victim of the war Okay, say that again. So there's a big deal right now with the, they've been at war since about t 2002. Mm -hmm. Steady, constant mm -hmm. fucking war. 
And the results of that war are the fault of the victim of the war. What, it, what am I not making sense on it? It's clear well, to me. No, well, okay. Am I in my own planet? But Help. no, no, but you have to... Yeah, I know if you if you define me, victim as in everybody is the victim of it because there's you know there's only well, so right, many people that benefit from a war. What, what, what I'm getting at, Mary, I'm not going that broad. I'm being more specific. The people that are for this fucking war, the ones that have been fighting this fucking war, somehow want to be the victims of the war they've been fighting, and it's all a bunch of crap in the first fucking place. Well, yeah, all of it. Started based on a fucking lie blamed on people that didn't have the technology or the goddamn money or means to do it. And now here we are and still it's going on. Mm -hmm. Why? How is this possible? And see, that just shows that really they're going to do whatever they damn well please, no matter how many people bitch and complain about it. So why even pay attention to them anymore? Why not just stop stop giving maybe, them attention? Maybe that was the point of supposedly exposing MSM as being frauds, which a lot of us already knew that for a long time, that to make it mainstream, oh, the news is fake and all this. Oh, look at these people are just, they're hired to tell you a certain story. Well, what was the surprise about that? You you would, well, no, you wouldn't be surprised at how many people out there really are surprised that, really, they did that? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Watch, you know, and if you look really close on some of those broadcasts, which is what I've, the one thing that, that caught it for a lot of people, at least that I have spoken with, look really close and you can see that little shimmer around whomever is, supposedly reporting from the front lines you can see a little shimmer around them and that's to let you know that yeah they're standing in front of a green screen yeah they aren't really there <laughs> if you can see the shimmer they ain't there uh, but has it come to this you know, what i get hannibal's going nuts yes she Go is ahead and I'll mute. Oh, no, that's Lord. okay. That's okay. She's oh, she's fine. Hell, you guys had to not. listen to my my well, doggy singing last night. We're celebrating the Danish New Year out here in Denmark, and I think they started like two days ago. Yeah, a little firecracker work here, a little fire. These people like to party. Oh, they're not gonna they're not gonna waste their their Friday night. Are you kidding? Mm. They is some partying people out here in Denmark. I'm telling you so. They's party I've animals. Well, in a sense, Miss Mary, I think so. But uh, a lot of them are like. There's one one house here had a huge party a while back. You know, family and whatnot. And uh, they sent mail. They sent stuff in the mail to all of us to let us know days ahead of time. We're going to be really loud and sorry about it ahead of time, but we're having our party. Oh, okay. You know, thanks for letting me know first instead of when it happened. Yeah. Well, it's a nice neighborhood, Mary. Very fortunate to be amongst people that are like that. It is kind of, it is cool to have people go, you know, I just want to let you know we're going to be having a shindig. Make it a little loud. Cause, yep. Yeah. Well, but to... To have the decency to let you know ahead of time even. I, for me, it was a big change because where I'm from, people didn't give two shits what you thought about what they were going to do. They're free to do whatever they damn well pleased. And if you didn't like it, you communist pinko fag, go fuck yourself. Yeah, because you're not free to complain that we are infringing upon your peace uh, and quiet. Right. But, eh, you know, so I've seen both sides of that coin. Sure. But my best, you know, my best memories are still being told, hey, you can't do that. Yeah. Well, not. Why not? Hold my well, beer. Because, watch this. Yeah. And and I specifically blame that on the lack of input put into us to uh, handle these kind of things. I think society plans that you go into fights un, uh, 
unarmed. You don't even know what to do in a fight because you never had any training to fight. I believe most people go through life like that. Voyeur fighting, watching other people fight but never being one their own. Yeah. Oh, hey. Okay. Carlin just popped up from the mind unleashed political correctness is fascism pretending to be manners george carlin amen george how many people would disagree with that one on the rln in the first place i don't think we would have a a, a descending nay against it yeah would we? I, uh -oh. I don't know but you know what We've actually had some people over on, you know, tuning in over on Spreaker. So maybe those tuning in over on Spreaker haven't seen that, haven't haven't gotten that concept yet to stop to realize that, oh, you're telling me that I can't talk that way because it hurts your feelings is actually, and then forcing me to not talk that way because it hurts your feelings, mm -hmm. that I hadn't thought that that was fascism. Wow. Well... Uh, maybe <clears throat> there's different ways to take words mm -hmm. other people use, right? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe there's a time where you're insulting somebody else's self. Uh, their interpretation of their own intelligence is just being slapped around with your stupid stuff. But the person that writes it doesn't see that side. They only see the brilliant mind writing it. Not the in you know the many ways that can be interpreted, you know nothing is uh, written in stone like they say. It's all fluid. You can make what you want out of it, and we're not taught that. We're taught the opposite. Everybody's the same. Look, Johnny, what day was George Washington born on? And then little Johnny repeats what day, which proves to everybody else Johnny is in the group. He he knows. Mm -hmm. Follow Johnny. Johnny's on the right path. And I thought, fuck, who cares what day he was born on? When I was a little kid, I knew, wow, you're just a mean little boy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I can't count one time in my whole life knowing what day George Washington was born on would have done me any big dip. How could it have changed anything? It's never been asked of me. Except... <laughs> there goes Hannah Banana again. Yeah, but except under the guise of education, I've never been faced with the question. So what was the point of me knowing the answer? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Could, uh, here, I don't know if I mentioned this on the dork table or not. We've been doing this bit for quite a while now, so I might repeat myself. But uh, when my my parents taught me to read and write. And do math before I went to school. Mm -hmm. So when my mom took me to school for the first time, they were like, wait a minute, this kid can read and write already. You've ruined everything. What did you do? Why did they try to victimize my parents for teaching me already? Yeah. It set the standard for my public education forever. It was horrid. Uh... Yeah. Uh, well, oh, yeah, kabooms in the background. Yeah, yeah, they're having fireworks. You know, uh -oh. isn't it funny how, of course, you know, um, we're looking for a salesman where I work right now, and uh, they want someone that doesn't have any experience so that they can teach them to do things their way. And it's like, oh, okay, you don't want someone that knows how to sell vehicles or whatever because you want to teach them your way. So I, I kind of sort of get that. You know where? Yeah, but when you're selling, when you're selling cars, honesty doesn't really have anything to do with it anymore. It's all about um, commerce now. Yeah. It's about do you qualify as a buyer to afford this beautiful machine? Blah blah blah. Where when I was a kid, if you had fifty bucks, you could go buy a car every day of the week. Yeah, and you know you can't do that anymore. No, but when I was a teenager, if you had $50, you can go buy a car. Oh, yeah. Insurance? What the fuck for? You don't need... It wasn't mandatory. You didn't have to have it. Yeah. So that was that. So you had 50 bucks. you get to buy a car, you get the title deed, and you go drive it. There you go. You're done. 
Well, and it was a responsibility and a privilege, not a right, you know, and yeah, you do well, have you do have a right to be able to motivate around if you wish to or to travel freely, but well, your well, mode of transportation up. is not. Things, things tightened up a lot since those days Yeah, in the, what you're talking about, but when I was, we're about the same age, right? Yeah. yeah. When I was 75, 76, driving for my first, you know, legally, uh -huh. it was way different than it is today. Oh, yeah. I mean, it just, there was less of us, too. Yeah, true. But, I mean, the, the whole, the structure of driving, it, there was less of us, it was less restrictive, uh, there was less police uh, intrusion. Yeah. I can honestly say that when I was a teenager, the, I got pulled over like twice. And I think the two times I did, I was breaking their, their code yeah. by a few miles, enough to warrant them stopping. But outside of that, I didn't get pulled over for nothing. Well, driving. that's that's because they were still, you know, in the shift or the transition from peace officers to police mm -hmm. officers, which is still, you know, right. pretty tame. Now they're all law enforcement officers. So oh. it's not that they're trying to keep the peace and they're not policing the area. They are no. enforcing laws. There's right. a big I, I difference. I, I was bragging about having gone through the transition of it. Oh, Okay, I got it. Yeah, because I remember the, the police being one way as a kid, and then when I was an adult, they were different. Yeah. You guys weren't like this before. And I got good sto I got a story about a, um, an English uh, highway patrol driver in, North Car in uh, New Mexico. Mm-hmm. Okay. I ended up at a, uh, what was that, a rainbow gathering in Taos when I got back from the trip to Europe uh -huh. and I ended up at, so I'm, I'm in Taos and I just decided I, well, I'm at this gathering thing and I just figured it was time. I wanted to go back to this somewhere else and I decided I'm going to go to Taos and I'm going to get a ride down there to Albuquerque. Uh -huh. Grim will know the, what the cities I'm talking about. Anyway, so I'm get there. It's just getting dark and I see the cop car off in the distance and here I am hitchhike and i figure oh the cop's gonna come fuck with me and here i go to jail or problems or whatever mm -hmm. anyway so the cop does come over and he gets out and he says in a damn english accent starts asking me where i'm going <laughs> told him i was gonna go to albuquerque he says oh go get in i'll drive you there <laughs> ah right he's a state trooper that had to go to new mexico uh, go from taos to albuquerque and picked me up as a uh, as a writer but i had to write in the back yeah but i had a great hey help yourself there's snacks and soda there help yourself to what you want and we talked all the way to albuquerque like cool. just two, two people but he was a state trooper now why that happened how that possibly happened to me i don't know but it did happen there's a certain amount of people that would tell me oh you're just making that shit up that's the price of telling the weird stories that happened to me. <laughs> well, you know, I remember <laughs> cops not being total douches either, you know. So I I get that. I know that that, that did happen in the past. It, and there are oh, the times. Last, the last one was in the 90s. I believe it was 96 when I got back from Scotland. Yeah, But it's been a while. I was a lot younger then, you know, too. People yeah. were nicer to me when I was in my 30s than they are today. Well, maybe not nicer, but I know I can't say that because I don't travel anymore. Well, yeah, traveling, people are not nice to you traveling like they once were. It was different when I was young. Yeah. Well, now everybody's in a hurry to get where they're going and they're bothered and they're uncomfortable and waiting for their flight and their train. And yeah. It's not... Yeah, it's not they're either in a hurry to go make some money so that they can enjoy it later, whenever later shows up, or they're in a hurry to go and enjoy that little bit of free time that they squeezed in because they made enough money that they can now afford to make their payments when they get back from going on their free time. Yeah. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. That's crazy. Break. Talk about breaking the cycle, you know. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. You, how, well, I think small community would probably be the biggest step anybody could make forward. And then after you do that, getting involved in the shit that runs your fucking community. If you're serious, me, I am an outsider of this whole game. I don't like government or any form of it. But it's always going to exist. So play. I like to play it by the, the least amount of rules available. You know, the more lax you are about it, the better I am with that. Yeah. All that intrusion and got people got to be all inspecting you and nah, I don't like all that. Yeah, all up are in you, your business. Yeah, are you are you a big fan of you know being inspected? No. Injected, no. neglected. No. Protected. Huh? No. Huh? Huh? No. 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 What do you no? What do you think about the protection that they offer you for the fucking money they charge? Well, in order for them to protect me for the money that they charge, number one, they want to take things away from me so that I have to go to them for protection. And it's like, no, oh, well, sorry, no, Chloe. I have these things and I like these things. And no, no, I don't think so. I thank you very much. I'll, I'll tend to my own protection. And uh, if, if I don't protect myself well enough, well, then I guess I got to deal with the repercussions of that, don't I? So yeah, so I stay out of combat. Yeah, yeah. What what the fuck for? I don't see. It. There's nothing in life worth fighting for. What for? Fight, fight, fight. I read this shit every day on the internet. Fight for your freedom. Fight for your rights. Fight. Fuck you and your freedom and your fucking rights. I don't give two flying shits what some weirdo in Topeka, Kansas wants to dress up like a freaking woman on thursday night and go out in public that's not my problem i mean it would be i suppose if i lived in topeka kansas but i mean where do you draw the line where with society's bullshit affects you mm. you know i haven't i haven't seen a parade of gay pride people walking down any of the streets around here ever so that doesn't it you know what i mean mm -hmm. all this Hoopla! All this, ma there's no mosque here. There's no, there's a Christian church, but I don't know. That's, in I guess I'm so indoctrinated or used to that indoctrination that it's not threatening. Well, but, you know, and you know the Christian church thing with uh, checking out the the Anastasia and the ringing cedar stuff and listening to some videos and translations and yada yada yada. And the Christian church, you know, l viewed from someone else's perspective, you know, as the ones that have the Christian church coming and saying, we know what's best for you and you're going to do things this way. You know, it's yeah. not when you look at it from their perspective, it's like, whoa, whoa, they were assholios, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the, the person who wants to do for you at gunpoint is usually somebody to not let near you <laughs> yeah not let them do for you uh, right yeah but they do it under the threat of jail or prison or well jail is prison but well the threat of jail or punishment of some kind financial punishment um i don't know what other what other punishments do they offer you <laughs> it's such a good idea we have to do it at gunpoint you know it's like um when they realize that that they couldn't couldn't get Oh God! What was it? This was another part of that that whole. I've listened to so many different talks lately. Um, there was a gentleman talking about um, how they were trying to figure out how they could get the African people to, you know, start doing things the way the Western civilization was doing, and they realized mm. that what they had to do was they had to instill the fear of death into them first. <laughs> because if they if they weren't afraid of dying, I'm dying, yeah. then you couldn't threaten them with death. Hmm. You know, so that whole it's such a good idea, we got to threaten you to do it thing, really comes into focus when you look at it like that. It's like wow. So you had to first get them convinced that they had to be afraid to die before you could threaten <laughs> them with the fear of death to get them to comply. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. Right. You think compliance is for. You don't naturally have to comply with things. You just do those things. When you're complying, it's usually you're forcing yourself to go along with the herd so that you don't go to jail or some stupid shit like that. Get a driver's license so that if you get pulled over, you can show the guy your paperwork and blah, 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 blah. You know, it puts me in that moose mode where just like, for fuck's sake, people, they justify the most ignorant fucking shit to make money that there is possible. And then they call it law enforcement. Yeah. They fucking idiots. It's all an extortion racket. That's all it is. They arm these fucking psychotics with fucking guns and then they turn them loose and tell them to go take all the fucking money away from the public Mm -hmm. asset forfeiture people welcome to trump trump thinks asset forfeiture is the greatest thing since uh i don't know maybe butt raping his cat probably yeah that's that's my guess it would come right either before or after butt raping his cat on his list of, wow, that's cool. Mm. And I just don't really want that mental image in my head. Thank you very much. Case one, Marion doesn't want to think about Trump nope. raping his cat in the butt. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I won't talk about it anymore, Miss Mary. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Grimmy <laughs> says, yeah, you're going to go to hell and be tortured for eternity if you okay. don't be tortured for eternity right now in the physical plane. I yeah, that's that's that you. lovely coercion that, but it's for your own good. Well, Mary, I don't feel tortured. What's, what am I doing wrong? Oh, Flash, you obviously are doing something wrong if you don't feel tortured. Darn it. No. Bit. I hate when that yeah. happens. Oh, I. Well, I guess we'll have to take this on next week when we return with <laughs> the dork faces of Gramsci and Flash. Yeah, yeah, it'll be the first show of the new year according oh, to yeah. the Gregorian calendar. Wow. Uh, you know what? We ought to really set a president. It'll be after the first. Let me look at the date here. Yeah, of course it'll be after the first. We'll do our predictions for the next year after the year starts. <laughs> yeah, because we're dorks, and that's the way we roll. <laughs> yep. Better late than never, I say. That's right. And my prediction is somebody is going to... Install a vape canister that's full of some of the best indica or sativa or whatever the hell. I don't know. I don't. I don't imbibe, but or at least not often. But they're gonna oh. they're gonna put that in the in the ventilation system, in all of no, the government see. buildings of D.C. And then sit back and and say, Oh, you want Doritos, eh? <laughs> Have I got yeah, a deal well, for you? <laughs> I remember telling you that on the dark table, my dear. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I'm all for them to be forced, if necessary, at gunpoint to hit the fucking hookah until they want something to eat and then go, okay, now tell the truth first and we'll feed you anything you want. Yeah, see, <laughs> two, it's it's he- such a good idea. You're going to do it at gunpoint. I see how you are. But they're hefty, you know, guys. They, they can miss a meal. They're not going to die if they don't get their Doritos. Well, that's true. Until we, the public, get the truth. Well, it's my fantasy. Come on, you'd be stealing my fantasy and running away with it. No, see, my you, that's <laughs> that's your fantasy. You want them to tell the truth. I want them to first off throw out all of the rules and regulations that have, that are in the federal government. Just throw it all out. Close all the departments. Close all the agencies. Say, okay, we're done. Can I have my Doritos now? <laughs> But if you want them to tell the truth on top of it all, you know, let's let's get them to do the truth thing first and then, Uh, you know, then have them shut everything down. That works. We could be onto something. Yeah, we could. You know, the great the great Jack Nicholson said, you can't handle the truth. Oh, well, thank you. (laughs) I can't. Mm. That's what he said. Well. (laughs) It is Jack That's Nicholson, what, after I all. I say it in the movie. He was and like... <laughs> he, he's, he's a crazy man well, is what he is. He's a crazy man. Well, no, that's patriotism, dear. They're protecting us from the enemy. I know. I know. They just 
don't know that the, the enemy doesn't exist. It's all in your head. It's a made up story. There's oh, yeah. no truth to it. It's made true to fit the story. The story isn't spoken. You know, it, it's not told past tense. <laughs> ah. It's, it's foretold like a, like something out of a, a fortune cookie. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, last fortune cookie I had was stale. No, thank you. Um, what? What? Yeah, I know. Right. It was nasty. In any Nose. case, you know what? We're just about out of time. time. Yeah. Thanks for well, listening to the uh, dork table, y'all. We just kind of rambled all over the place. You know, all like over the normal. Place. Uh, be sure to like check dork around dork. tomorrow. I don't know what's going Thanks, on the rest everybody. of the day. But be sure to check tomorrow because Grimmy probably will be on play in the blues at noon eastern time and i'm sure there will be a rousing really? game of trivial pursuit going on as oh, well yeah. in the chit chat oh, also here's johnny there you go grimmy um also tomorrow afternoon directly following grim will be hal anthony where he's going to take you behind a woodshed and open up a can of whoop ass on yo ass and then tomorrow evening hey, is hal. gary l and Gigi's boo with the road less traveled so <laughs> yay <laughs> Yeah, and after that, the world will come to an end because, Sweet. well, it will be the end of the year. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and when you wake up on Monday morning, what the hell? Yeah. On a Monday morning, it will be yeah. a new year <gasps> as well as oh. a new day. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. I know. I'll be there before you. Yeah, I know you will. What the hell? That's Good. just not right. Is that possible? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I know. It's weird. It's like, we're whoa. going to the same place, but we're going to get there at different times. And that's okay with everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, the sun comes, the sun will come up tomorrow. <laughs> uh, now, everybody can explain how they understand how that all works.